Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models. Uh, welcome to part four of this uh, build of the Tamiya Honda CRF 1000L motorcycle. Uh, right, if you've been catching up to date with what I've been doing so far, we have this. The engine was the first part, and then the frame. Uh, now, the next part starts with the rear suspension, the rear damper, and um, it goes on from there. I don't know how much I'm going to get done and how long this video is going to be. My intention at the moment is to do the rear damper, uh, attaching to the centre and the centre stand, uh, then the rear fender. Uh, then we have the tail lights and a swing arm. I don't know what a swing arm is. Uh, probably going to stop there before we get into the, the wheels. I think the wheels will be another part on its own. Uh, so this should be, I'd say, the, the rear suspension and the rear fender. So basically the back end of the bike. Uh, right, this one starts with lots of metal parts and springs and things, uh, some of which is obviously going to have to be painted as well. So I'm going to go away now and uh, figure out what paints I need, what parts I need, and we'll go from there. I'll see you in a moment. Right, well I've got the parts ready for the first step, and there is something to note. Uh, the spring uh, has A and B, which denotes whether you want to do the bike in the uh, basically white or red uh, pearl glare white or victory red um, I like red I'm gonna go with red so I need to paint that particular color the TS 17 which again I need to look up and see uh, but I also need to use metal primer before painting metal parts I don't have any metal primer so I'm going to be ordering some. Um, obviously, it's going to take me a day or two to get any, which doesn't matter to you because, you know, next time you see it, it'll be done. But uh, what I do need to do first is get some of these parts assembled, so I'll do that now. Um, the nut needs to go into the middle of these two bits, which then get glued together. So I'm just going to do that now. And then this bit needs to be painted in a couple of different colours. Basically the edge is a different colour to the, the main body of it or the looks of it. Uh, so I'm using the extra thin as ever. Glue those two bits together. Then I can finish sanding it down and making it a nice smooth edge. Uh, right, basically we've got the nut goes through that piece uh, with one of those in the middle and then that. Uh, one hole is bigger than the other, so you need to make sure you get that the right way around here. Yeah, that's not going in there, so it must be that way around. So that goes through there with that, which is actually through the middle of that as well. So basically, that all goes together like that, and then screwed into there. I'm not going to do that because obviously I need to get it apart just to glue it again and that is left loose. Uh, these other bits again bits go together in that goes into there that goes into there which actually goes inside. Uh, actually sorry that bit goes on the top there as well and then the spring is compressed and held in place with that which goes into the nut and it tells you to make it 37 millimeters long, which uh, one, two, three, it's not far off where it is. But obviously that does need to be compressed to fit in there. Oh, I see that actually goes further in. There we go. Yeah, so that goes together basically like that 
into that nut in there. There you go, I've not tightened it down, but that gives you a working suspension piece there. Uh, right, so that's part one. I need to take it back apart again and get it primed and painted up. Obviously I can't paint that, so until I get the correct primer. Uh, right, so I'll get that done, get that ready, and work through the next step or two as well. See you in a moment. Right, after having flicked through all of the instructions concerning the metal parts in the kit, the only bit that needs to be painted is this spring. And, conveniently, if I'm doing it in red, it has to be in gloss aluminium. So, I'm going to not paint it. Um, it's already steel and basically gloss aluminium already. So I'm going to leave that as it is. Uh, if I was doing the white one, strangely, it would have to be painted in red. So, just as well that I decided to do red anyway. Um, so, that's just to you know, make it easier on myself as well. I'm not actually having to worry about priming and painting any metal. Uh, the other metal parts in there seem to be uh, well, the axles for the wheels, which obviously aren't going to be painted anyway. So, uh, I'll get that back taken apart, um, get the rest of the parts for the, this uh, damper, and then attach it and the centre stand. Uh, so I'll get that done off camera and then get it put together on camera again and I'll see you in a moment. Right, there we have most of the parts ready for priming. Uh, there's a few parts that don't need painting, obviously the more tubes, a couple of red parts and um, clear part. I've got a decal ready and the first of the chrome parts that the chrome is that good and it actually fits into here uh, get it the right way around fits in there like that so where it's been cut off the sprue is not visible so I don't need to worry about chroming that as I'm hoping I'm not going to have to worry about chroming all the rest of the other bits as well uh, right, apart from one little white piece everything else is going to be primed in black uh, apart from those I have the assembly of the other bit which I need to take apart now and get primed as well so that will all come apart and be primed in black as well uh, then I'll separate it up again as ever to the bits that have to be uh, metallic black, gloss black, uh, NATO black, uh, various different shades and things. So, um, just thought I'd show you what we've got so far. I'll get this taken apart and get it all primed and ready to go. Right, that's all of it primed. Uh, I need to do different bits in some aluminium at the back there and metallic black and big pile of NATO black here. Uh, some semi-gloss black and flat black and yeah lots of different colors and things sorry for the shaking um, so I'll get that done and then show you the different colors put together I've masked some of this this is aluminium at the top and then um, I think there's an orange the tip of it's orange and then there's chrome and the next level down so I'll do the aluminium and then change the masking up and do the next bit and then do the next bit and next time the camera won't be handheld and won't be as shaky so see you in a moment Right, there you have my coloured forest, uh, bits of aluminium and chrome and various different blacks, metallics and NATO and matte and gloss. I need to put some gloss on some of the bits and other bits, I need to remask some of that. But yeah, that's the start of the painting of the main rear wheel assembly. Uh, let that dry, then remask and do the, the gloss on a couple of bits. But uh, it's getting there. I'm happy it's getting there. A bit later on I'll get that finished off and then uh, show you a bit of it going back together. Right, that's everything done. I can start assembling. Uh, now, one, I'm skipping a couple of bits where I'm still waiting for some paint to dry, but some bits that are dry I'm going to be doing now. Now this chrome piece needs to be glued into 
there. Now as ever, you do need to make sure that it's plastic on plastic, not paint in the way, especially the chrome. So I'll just need to scratch away some of the chrome around the edge here. Being careful not to scratch away the chrome that I want. So I'm just getting rid. I hope that's coming out on the film here. It's obviously not very big. I'll show you a bit closer what I've been doing. There we go. That's just around the edge there. Just some plastic contacts. Going to get rid of some more around the other side there, just to give me say something for the glue to act on again let's get rid of some from the inside here as well it's black plastic underneath this so you can't actually tell so much what's being done I've already done some of that as well as well right? so then we just need to get some extra thin around the edge there and drop that in being careful not to get the glue on the chrome so I'm actually going to do it the other way around and bring it up into it and then make sure it's located in on the back there just like that so that's the first chrome piece fitted nice and shiny lovely right um, I'll get some other bits assembled back to stages and then show you where I'm up to Right, let's get started with some mirrors. A uh, nice sheet of mirror stickers there, which is obviously very reflective. So I'll move that off camera for now. <laughs> uh, right, I need to put one inside this, which I think is the, like the number plate light. So that is number G, letter G even, E, F. There we go, G, is that one down the bottom there, which has got one flat side and one curved side so let's peel that up without damaging the sticker itself there we go right that needs to go into there looks about right I don't want to push it down with anything really. I uh, should have thought ahead. Let's use the soft sticky foam pad. Just about gets in there. And that's the mirrored bit in there. Do need to get that side down. There we go. Uh, right now into that goes the bit that I've painted one side of and left one bit clear and that goes on just like that so it does give you the slight reflective bit inside but obviously you're never going to be able to see so just need to glue those together as ever using the extra thin that and that will go onto the top of those that way up so yeah that is down uh, right so as ever I need to just get rid of some of the paint that I need to glue onto I'm just going to stick into these two dimples there Let me zoom back out again now I'm not doing that Again, get rid of the paint from those. Conveniently, they've made one bigger than the other, so you can easily tell which one's which. Big one, that side. So it is that way around, yep, the way I thought. Let's get a bit of glue in each of those. Wipe off my fingerprints. And get that in there nice 
Uh, right, the next bit involves double-sided tape and a sticker. So uh, I've got to put the cut the tape down to that side. They give you tape as well, so it's all very easy. So let me just cut that using the picture in the book as a guide as to the exact size I need. There we go, let's get that there. Then I can just make a nice straight line. From there, that was well right, yeah. Just double check. Just take that. Straight back to there. Get that cut off. Then, um, let's see exactly where it wants that to go. I think that is going where well, we've got these two bits. So, yeah, tape. Mirror, a mirror sticker to the raised side of cube one, then attached from that side with double sided tape. So we've got a flat side and a raised side. Need to put that on the inside of there. So these stickers are mirrored on both sides. So let's see. Raised. Okay. Get that in there. That's just going to make that bit reflective on the inside, I think. So then we need the tape that I've just cut. Just take off one side. Get that stuck. Let's go into there, shall we? Into there. Get rid of the other side. Just leaving the sticky in the middle. And then we get that into there as well. So that gives us a reflective brake light type thing, uh, which also just sits onto the two bits here. starting to look like the back of a bike. Right, that was that bit. I'll get some more done and catch up with you in a sec. Right, I've got the uh, rear suspension, rear damper together, all painted. Looks better than it did last time it was together. Now, I need to get that installed and then the kickstand as well, which needs a little spring. Right, so let's have a look at the instructions. That goes in using the little screw. So I need the screw and the screwdriver. So I've got this the right way round. That's going to end up attaching in there. And that bit comes through here. Attach one way round, so that has to be that way. Oh, and that's going to go into there, right? Yeah, 
as easy as that by the looks of it. Yep, so let's get that screw in there. And luckily enough, these screwdrivers are slightly magnetic, so they'll hold the screw while I feed it through into the right place. Going to go through there. And then a little bit of wiggling to get that lined up. And then that screws into the plastic on the other side. Being careful not to slip or cause any other problems with it. Doesn't need to be really tight and just holding it in the right place tight so that's that and then we have the kickstand that I've got assembled move that back out the way a sec that needs the big screw and the spring now the spring is attached the right way round there we go one end of it goes on to there, that's where the tiny tweezers come back into play. Right, so that's spring fitted. So let's get this back where we need it. I've got needs to go across there, in there and on there, right okay. Oh, the other end of the spring goes on to that little bit there, so let's get it in first and then get the spring in after. So we've got the screw needs to go through there, there, into that other bit and then through Big silver bit. That thing doesn't feel right. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, get that lined up. I'm sure this is stunning watching. Absolutely gripping viewing. Being quite new to YouTube, I'm not sure how much people really want to see. So, apologies if I've missed bits that you thought, oh, I wish you'd show me that. And also apologies if I've bored you absolutely senseless with bits that you didn't want to see at all. Right. Why is that not screwing up into there? Doesn't feel like it's tightening. Because it's not quite lined up on the other end. If it's all in the right place. It can't be anywhere other than where it really is. So I think it's just going to take, again, a little bit of jiggling. Possibly getting a slightly bigger screwdriver so I can actually feel what I'm doing. There we go. They did give me another screwdriver with the kit, but I haven't unpacked that one yet. And I've got a couple of my own here. There you go. That's that. Now let's just get that spring connected. And then this bit will be just about done. And I just need to get the frame added. So, which side of that spring opens? This side. The trick to this is going to be keeping hold of the spring 
until you know it's connected. Uh, that's only half in. So there we go. That's it. That's through, and that should mean the kickstand folds itself down or up rather. So it's down when you're on it. And then it folds itself up. And the suspension works a bit. I don't know exactly where what's got to go where. Might need oiling by the sounds of it as well. Right. So far so good. Uh, next up I've got a couple of other bits to put in and the framework which I've got a bit more completed with the lights on the back all together. Let's have a quick nose. I've got to do the hoses on there as well, so I won't put that in quite yet. I've got to line up some hoses while I'm connecting it through, but let's get an idea. It's going to go from underneath are those two pins here go into these two holes here. So it's going to be something like that ish. And I'm going to need to zoom the camera out when I'm doing that bit. But so far so good. Oh no, that's got to go over there. So that's not actually like that at all. Just as well I'm doing dry fitting, isn't it? So that actually goes in deeper. Right, that must go into there. Yeah, then they're going to line up with that. That bit's going to come through there somewhere. Wow, it's going to be a very tight fit. So tight that it feels like something's wrong. Oh well, I'll look at that in a moment and uh, get back to you. See you in a bit. Alright, just a couple more bits to fix on now. I've done the decal here and had fun with all the hoses, trying to get them connected into the right places and fed through the right way. Still got a lot that aren't connected to anything else yet, but a few of them are now tied into there. And this other little white box on the side there. So it's all starting to come together. Uh, right, the last bit that I've got to screw in is whatever that is, which goes just on there with two screws. Uh, one is longer than the other. So let's get that one on first. Why is one longer than the other? That goes, that goes through into the actual side panel there as well. So I've just got to make sure that gets lined in properly. Yep, that's going in there, so I'll just get that started and then get the other one started as well. They're both going in the right way, so let's get them finished off. That's also holding this whole rear assembly in place with one of those screws as well so that's good don't know what that bit is but there we go uh, right the last bit that I need to do on this is the rear light which goes in that way up and we'll poke out the back here so that just ah, there's a little indentation in here that that will go on to so let's get that glued up, get that in, make sure that located okay, get a few seconds to dry, and that's getting there. 
All right, there is one other bit that I've built because the next instruction down here, but a swing arm apparently, but it doesn't actually say anything about fitting that yet. And the next bit after that is starting to make the wheels. So uh, I'm going to do that next time. I'll leave that and leave that. I'll just uh, give you a shot of that finished and then call that a day. Right, it's getting much too big to display in any meaningful way on the setup I've got at the moment, but I hope you can see what's what. Uh, right, I'm happy with how that's come along. It's starting to look like a bike now. I can see obviously where the rear wheel's gonna go. Uh, the engine's all mounted into the frame. Still got some cables going wherever. No idea where they're meant to go. I'm sure it'll all come clear soon, but uh, yeah, I'm very happy with how that's coming together. I hope you've enjoyed watching this build. Um, as ever, like the channel, subscribe, come back for more. Uh, next up is going to be the wheels, so that will be fine and interesting. So I hope you'll come back for that when they're up and running soon. Uh, as ever, thanks for watching. Bye.